Hi everyone, welcome back to another gameplay of Infinito the 2. So welcome to this tutorial video about the level Rumble. Uh, you guys have requested it and it's been a very long time since I've done a gameplay, a walkthrough on this on this level. Uh, now the fact that the, with the minor updates some towers have been changed and uh, a slightly different strategy may be the best one now to approach this level. So yeah, I've decided to uh, to show you guys my personal strategy and uh, uh, yeah, hopefully you're gonna enjoy it. Now the first thing that you have to know about this level is that uh, these two levels here, so both Rumble and uh, Dev are gonna be um, linked only to normal research. So even if you have active Endless and therefore you have a lot more things or Endless, even if you have it maxed, it will not matter because of the fact that only normal it's uh, considered here. So no more research, try to have it as max as possible, it's definitely going to help. But I, I think that especially it's the start research that can play a role. Because of course, see that here I have a lot of upgrades to uh, for 6.3, right? To farm 6.3. Like for example, loot frequency here, loot rarity, or this extra 3% uh, mining speed, uh, ball lightning, you know, all these things that unfortunately on our Rumble are not, uh, uh, are not important or are not going to be even used. So that's why I recommend here to always reset your um, your start research and try to go for something of this sort. So remember that uh, this research is going to be important because it can affect the uh, the level. Uh, so yeah, that's why you want to try to prioritize and get all the upgrades and all the things that you know are going to be useful and you know are going to be important for your overall uh, strategy. So uh, yeah, even if you don't have... Uh, uh, every single star in the game, for example, I don't have yet stars on Rumble and on uh, Dev, so that means that I'm lacking pretty much uh, six total stars that I could uh, I could uh, use. But even if that's the case, uh, that shouldn't really be such a problem, and you should still be able to afford what I'm gonna get here and all these upgrades. So uh, yeah. And lastly, going here for this top path where I can get the power level as well and that's it so this is what your research should look like uh, of course if you have some levels where you don't have three stars so for example I don't know uh, levels in stage five or even maybe levels in stage six and therefore you have even less stars than what I have uh, and you can't afford certain upgrades uh, I recommend you to leave aside this six percent attack speed here you can just leave it aside uh, and therefore that's six stars that uh, you can you can have bonus so uh, yeah that's what I recommend if you have even less than those uh, amount of stars then most likely um, I would say that this one here experience given by the modifier can be omitted and uh, you can uh, avoid you not know, getting it but definitely you no know, it's gonna help you out having it so yeah, in my case, this is the research I'm gonna go with. As I said before, I still lack the six stars from both Rumble and Dev. So um, so yeah, this is just uh, for that reason. And um, and now here, jumping into the gameplay, of course, showing the strategy. It's uh, this level is very peculiar. I'm not gonna go through like all the details, but know that here enemies are gonna walk on top of platforms, so they're always gonna try to reach your base by cutting short some somehow. Uh, that the max experience tower is level 100 so your towers can level up a lot higher than like level 20 or regardless of the level you have on your research uh, and that uh, the ball lightning the ability is disabled uh, and also it's disabled uh, bounties and the power modifiers uh, you start with 100 less money as well and then all the towers are going to be disabled other than basic and sniper so that's the main features about this level of course the unique core that you have is gonna give you access to every single tower uh, but of course you're gonna have to be wise and uh, depending on which strategy you know, you're using you can unlock uh, like for example venom at the start you can go with splash or even with anti-air minigun like and everything work, works and uh, just uh, look at the portal you know look at the which enemies are coming out you can see that all enemies are gonna come out other than toxics and uh, um, yeah, I think it's Toxics, right? Toxics, oh sorry, Toxics and Fighters. Those two are the only enemy types that will not come out from this uh, portal. 
uh, all the other enemies will, will come out. So of course you can check the effectiveness of your towers and you can see, okay, which is the best tower to uh, be able to, you know, do as much damage as possible to these enemies here. So yeah, there are three main quests and each quest is going to award you one star. So to be able to gain three stars, you will not be just needing to like beat wave 100, but you're going to also need to complete this minor quest. So one is going to be the resourced, that this is going to be the hardest one. And then the easiest one actually is the scored again during one game. So I'm going to just start here um, with a, a strategy. I think that most of you guys are familiar with uh, that is just using your towers to create a path that is longer, right? And the more uh, of this uh, 90 degree turns you can create, the better it is. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm going to just change here the targeting or certain towers just to be able to uh, try to maximize, you know, the early game. And uh, another very important thing they recommend you to do is start and don't use all the wave. So let the timer run out. I know it's something weird and it's something that I normally don't recommend you to do, but in this level, for this particular case, it's the best scenario. Because you get more coins by just waiting the timer to run out than to call the next wave. It's true that you get slightly more score if you call the next wave early, but in terms of coins and in terms of the experience gained from the uh, core, it's better to just wait out. So that's why I'm gonna wait out here. And I'm gonna unlock uh, the Venom Tower here and I'm gonna place it. Uh, in this spot here with extra power uh, and then after you get Venom you want to just start creating here this path you know that it's just longer so that's pretty much what you have to do and in my case the strategy I, I just like uh, more you know it's gonna be unlocking minigun a second and I'm gonna place minigun in this attack speed tile that normally it's a very good effect for for minigun uh, and yeah, just placing it there. No minigun is the only tower early on that will be able to attack the flying enemies. There are two jets uh, waves here. And then there will be more flying enemies incoming, you know. So yeah, in that way you are already prepared for, for that. Uh, I'm gonna get another uh, Venom. And uh, yeah, that should, be, that should be pretty much the early game. So these early towers. Just letting the timer run out, as you can see. Not really doing anything fancy. Uh, and you use the cheapest tower, in this case in the early game is uh, basic, you know, you use basics as uh, an obstacle, so in that way enemies are forced, you know, uh, the longer around, and that's how to do it. Then I'm gonna get here a flamethrower, right, and I'm gonna upgrade it already level 1 so that it has slightly more range and it can reach these enemies, I'm gonna place it on random. And I'm gonna now level up all the towers, or the the offensive ones, you know, the ones that you really want to do damage to the enemies at level 1. That's just it. Um, and uh, yeah, that's just the, the, the early waves. As I said before, just let the timer run out. You don't want to call the next wave early. You want to give time for your towers to, uh, especially to the core, to generate more upgrade points than, uh, than what you would if you just, you know, uh, called the next wave early. The w the score is not doesn't increase as much in this way, but don't worry. Like the score quest is going to be the easiest easiest one to to achieve, so you don't really have to worry about that. I'm gonna go with Crusher. All right, I'm gonna place here a Vector Miner, and I'm gonna already get. Uh, one mining speed modifier and one experience modifier so in that way i can make this venom especially to level up a little bit faster now here unfortunately some enemies were able to sneak past so i'm gonna start placing already some more of these basics right to force uh and to make the path longer remember if you add the 90 degree turns that's the best uh, scenario so that's what you wanna you wanna add as much as possible i'm gonna unlock as well here anti-air And just uh, placing here uh, uh, just one more basic, I think. Yeah, that's it. Then now I'm gonna go with uh, anti air. So I'm gonna place one, two, and three anti air. So I'm gonna complete this top path, right? And uh, anti air, it's even cheaper than basic. 
So like once you have anti-air and once you have enough basics, you know, that can help your towers early on to do damage to the enemies. And that's why I think it's just better to switch to anti-air. And in that way, your uh, minigun will have the help of the anti-air towers to destroy the flying waves, as you can see here. So yeah, it's just uh, very nice for that reason. Uh, getting here also a scalar modifier, right? A scalar miner, sorry. You remember the resource quest is the hardest one. So that's the one that you have to start looking for very, very early on. I know it's super early, but it's just uh, the um, the fact that you have to you know, be uh, right from the beginning. You have to place these miners and you have to start gaining at least some resources. You know, it's not much at the start. But at least it's some something. And after getting this upgrade right here, the actress is gonna disable you from the ability to place basic. Now you will not be able to place any more basics, but that's fine because uh, you have placed enough. You now you can just use anti earth next to uh, make the path longer. You wanna unlock the bounties, uh, and you wanna place uh, whenever in the map that you know you will not place towers, you wanna place them. And you want to start getting the additional coins from your bounties and uh, so in that way you know you can just have more coins overall and uh, that definitely helps of course i'm gonna get here um your fancy towers level two right that should be good enough and now i'm gonna just wait to place my first bounty in this case like the path is not longest one remember that you can keep on placing towers and you can make the path super super long but so early like i don't really need to so that's why i'm gonna just keep my towers just like this and i just want to place here the first bounty remember don't call the next wave early just uh get the gold uh, get the coins from uh, destroying the enemies and then the passive coins per, per minute that should be more than enough get venom with the ultimate it's very important so in that way you have the chance when enemies die to spread the debuffs to nearby enemies and uh, now I'm gonna get actually a crusher here in this very nice corner see it's gonna give me more time because it's gonna hold the enemies in that corner so it's just nice And uh, uh, yeah, now I think I'm gonna go for this freezing. So we'll start adding a freezing to start um, slowing down, of course, the enemies. I have a frame tower up here, so remember that frame um, setting enemies on fire is gonna reduce the effect of uh, a freezing up to uh, only 33%. But uh, you know, it's still something. So that's what you wanna. You want to still get some freezings and remember that freezings also the first ability is going to increase the damage that uh, frozen enemies uh, take so that's of course a huge advantage and from wave 38 pretty much to wave 50 that's when you don't have like pretty much to upgrade anything like this tower level 2 should be should be more than enough uh, and so you don't really need to upgrade them maybe just frame flower like level 3 right to have slightly more damage maybe also this venom level three uh because it's the one that you know it's leveling up the fastest because of the modifiers but other than that i don't think you really need much else and i'm gonna now place this freezing i'm gonna get it just level three as well going first with, with the, the extra experience so that's gonna be faster and then i'm gonna go for the extra damage And uh, yeah, so you use all this time here until like wave 55, pretty much, to just uh, um, place your bounties. So that's your next goal, placing all three bounties that uh, you know the, the core allows you to get. It's just three, but you know it's at least something. And uh, this early on, as I said before, you don't need to like place so many anti airs to make the path super long. It's just uh, it's more than enough. The Having a path like this, this long that it reaches pretty much until the frame flower. So as always, I'm gonna I actually place bounties where the total coins that I have is like uh, slightly uh, higher than double the amount of the cost of the bounty. So you can see here the bounty is gonna cost 730. So once I'm gonna have a little bit around 1500, I will place it. 
that's normally the rule I follow and that, that helps me at uh, keeping you know the efficiency of the bounties pretty pretty high all right I see here this uh, I see enemies you know being able to push forward and if that happens just upgrade your frame throw a little bit more should be enough so that's the next bounty and next upgrade here is getting the extra damage of course you want to maximize the damage that your towers do as much as possible it's gonna cost four upgrade points so it's a bit expensive but it's uh very worth it it's an extra 30 percent damage i'm gonna level up now this minigun and this bottom band on level three why not is the next wave, uh, next wave of uh, um, jets incoming, so you're gonna need minigun to destroy them. Also, minigun is very good against uh, like armored healers that are are pretty annoying. So here we go. That's the extra damage. And let's see here. The last bounty is gonna cost 1250. So once I'm gonna have around uh, like 2500 coins, I will place it. And as I said before, like these waves, uh, you know, you shouldn't really need to upgrade that much your uh, your towers, and you should still, you know, do enough damage. So yeah, this is the best uh, uh, part of the game where you can farm, right? You can get as many of these uh, uh, bounties as possible. Now here, before wave uh, 57 comes out this is a wave of 16 pretty tough anti-air enemies and uh, they are pretty tough uh, so that's what I recommend to do is just to place here um, this uh, extra anti -airs. you know you're gonna end up like spending a bit of, of coins but it's gonna be uh, your best shot and actually I'm gonna place also uh, another freezing here and that's it. So in that way, you have uh, the extra attacks from all these anti airs Even if you're level zero, you know they're gonna still do some damage. And especially, they can apply the ignite. And the cool thing about that uh, uh, burning from anti air passive is the fact that it's gonna slow down flying enemies. So it's the only burning that actually slows down. So that's why it's so so valuable. So that's the third bounty, by the way. So that's the maximum I can get. Of course, here. Look at the efficiency and see that uh, my bounties are going to be 100% efficient if I have uh, 32, uh, 50 coins or higher. So I will try to, of course, use these next waves to get as close as possible to that uh, amount. Uh, but in case, you know, I will need to upgrade my, my towers, I, I will do it. Unfortunately, from win 70 onwards, enemies become uh, like very tough very quickly. So you start struggling a lot, like dealing with them. But uh, yeah, if you follow these steps, you should have enough like coins already in in the in the bank to uh, to afford, you know, start upgrading your tower without really losing too much value. I'm gonna get now. Actually, I'm gonna get a cannon and next attack speed, of course. So uh, yeah, let's start getting this tower to level four, right? Right, you can see that I already completed this core gain during one game. You know, that's the uh, that's the easiest one, as I said before. Even if you don't call the next waves early, but still, it's the, just the easiest one. I'm gonna get Vector here. I'm gonna get two modifiers. All right, and remember the resources gained. That's the hardest quest to complete. So that's what you have to start focusing on from very early on. That's your main uh, focus, and uh, yeah, that's what I recommend you to do. You know, when you're getting pretty close to the maximum efficiency, that's when you want to start, you know, spending your your coins. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure that yeah, from wave 70 here onwards, like enemies get a boost of HP, and especially like after wave 80. So I'm gonna start upgrading here this flamethrower, at least level six. Uh, the same goes here for this venom. Actually, maybe I can upgrade venom first.
uh, yeah, should be able to burn them down. But yeah, you can see that you know, enemies just get the extra boost of HP that makes them pretty annoying. Uh, and they can start, you know, pushing forward, forward, forward. Alright, that's 6 and 6. Good. Getting here uh, both this color and this vector level 1. Alright. And uh, yeah, wave 75 is your threshold. Like from wave 75 onwards, you want to start using the auto wave call button. So that means that when you. Um, as soon as you destroy pretty much all the enemies in a certain wave, you can very easily uh, just call the next one. Like you don't have to do it manually, you can just do it. It's gonna just do it by itself. So uh, yeah, tree getting now flamethrower level eight. There are these icy enemies are pretty uh, quick. So just doing that. And yeah, from now on I'm gonna just go auto wave. I'm gonna just get this uh, minigun as well, level six. Uh, Venom, uh, yeah, level 5 should be enough. Uh, getting this freezing as well, level 6. The extra attack speed, nice. And, uh, and now is when slowly you want to start building a path that it's it becomes uh, super long. So this is the, the stage of the game when you're going to start doing this process. Uh, and, uh, and yeah, that's just it, pretty much. Alright, just leave enough room here. To the enemies, uh, oh no, wait. Here, I need to do uh, this. Yeah, here we go. No, wait, there is something wrong here. If I messed up the, the path, oh yeah, I've closed it up. Yeah, my bad. Yeah, here we go. I don't know why I was... I just placed one anti-air in the wrong spot. So, my bad. And, yeah, just forcing here the enemies. We go around. And now is when you start maxing your Scholar Miner. From this point on, the your whole focus is getting enough resources. Like, defeating reaching wave 100 is going to be a piece of cake. Remember that you still have all the abilities that you can use. You have, uh, you should have like um, uh, the nuke. You should have firestorm. Uh, you should have poisonous cloud. Like you should have different abilities, global ones that should uh, uh, make you, you know, do enough damage. So you can just use as many coins as possible on this scholar. And actually, I recommend at a wave uh, 90, yeah, to actually sell one uh, bounty and to get like scholar level 5 plus an extra modifier so i'm gonna actually get it right now i guess here we go so yeah you lose some efficiency of course but uh, uh yeah you're now mining very quickly these scholars so yeah this should be this should be useful i'm gonna get as well here blast and I'm gonna start placing every now and then, you know, some blasts to add, uh, uh, you know, maybe some some stuns every now and then. And uh, yeah, just uh, why not, you know? Some additional uh, crowd control. And from wave 90 onwards. Um, you just start um, using your abilities, you know, every time that enemies can push too forward. And that's it. That's all you have to do. I recommend as well to max this Venom. So even if you end up um, like uh, losing the efficiency from the bounties, like at this stage, bounties are not so important. Like it's, uh, it's important early on so that you have those 10, 15 waves where you can have the maximum efficiency but then afterwards you really need the, uh, the damage because at this stage like enemies are 
uh, are pretty tough and so uh yeah you know maxing the only tower that's level 55 all the other ones you know are going to be much lower level so that's why you're going to max first this venom you know to make it as strong as possible you have uh, a lot of power here as well because of your research and because of the extra levels so yeah at this stage like core is not important anymore like you can just leave all the upgrades here uh up upgrade points just there it's not gonna be important remember from now on is the resources gain this is the uh most important uh, quest you know that you that you have to complete and so just focus you know after you get this venom level 10 i'm gonna get now flamethrower level 10 and uh yeah you have this color you know manner that it's mining as many resources as possible and that's exactly what you want uh, because here it doesn't say that it has to be a certain type of resource so that's why it's better to go for scholar because it's the resource that it's mined fastest already so um yeah it's just easier if you do it in this way and uh yeah that's way 100 right these light enemies is actually way 100 so once you can destroy them uh you should be able to get the uh the star I'm gonna get here for throw level 9. I might lose here some lives, but I'm gonna just let them leak. You know, I'm not gonna use an ability just for those few enemies. So that's the next star. And of course, it's the last one that it's missing. Now again, after wait 100, enemies get a boost of HP and they start being progressively uh, stronger and stronger. Uh, so... Um, so yeah, like after I'm gonna max this flamethrower, most likely I'm gonna just start using abilities. You know, I'm gonna start calling the next waves early, or like super early, to be able to stack the double the double mining time. And uh, um, and yeah, but you know, if you if even if you go steady, if if you don't use this uh, instant other wave call, you just you should still be fine. Like see that I'm I'm mining uh very quickly like this number is going up very very quickly i still have my energy bar full i can use firestorm i can use nuke so uh yeah it's uh, it's easy adding some freezings every now and then right to slow down the enemies uh yeah actually let's just do here a poisonous club right just to destroy this lights and because there is another light wave most likely these enemies are still going to be able to go past so i'm going to actually insta call the next waves i'm going to do it manually but you can also activate this uh this button you know it's, just, it's the same and uh, uh yeah when they're gonna get very close to the end i'm gonna just use far storm and here we go that's the ability that's plane thrower on level 10 you get a ton of coins when you can do this and as you can see i already completed the resource quest as soon as i got the double time i i'm i'm running a lot more of scholar and so this is enough like in 114 waves uh you can if you follow this strategy you should be able to get the three stars you can of course keep on playing you know for the leaderboard or for whatever but i don't think that's the that's necessary and uh, yeah that's it so you end the game and you get the three stars you're gonna get as well the uh, the rewards from completing the uh, the quest, and uh, so you have here two like one loot ticket that because of a double gain it becomes two loot, uh, loot tickets, and then let me see here uh, the the other quest. So the resource quest it is gonna award you two rarity tickets and two sign chests. And instead, the uh, yeah the milestone is gonna be. 10 uh 100 percent quality tile plus the uh, loot tickets and then instead of the score is going to be 15 accelerators and 60,000 green papers and that's it so this is like the easiest uh, strategy in my opinion to to approach this uh, uh, level and to and to get the three stars you know in one run so that's it i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you thanks for watching